Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the X Oracle for short. Today we will be taking a look at another Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck. This is the first one that they released, which is the Samhain Oracle. Now, as a Filipino, actually we would read this as Samhain or Samhain or something like that, but I have heard it being called or pronounced as Samhain and I think that is closer to the actual correct pronunciation. Although I'm pretty sure that I am still mispronouncing it, so I do apologize for that. So this is the Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle by Rockpool. This was created um, by Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson and illustrated by uh, Giada Rose. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. And you also have this guidebook. Then um, a card for the Oracle, a uh, Rockpool Oracle app and the sides of the box. Okay. Sorry, I meant the inside of the box. Okay, so now let's take a look at this guidebook. It is pretty uh, substantial. Then you have the table of contents about the authors, about the illustrator, some acknowledgments, an introduction, a brief info about the cards, some card, actually there's a lot of card spreads in here, and that's what I like about the Seasons of the Witch series. They do have a lot of uh, original card spreads uh, in, in the guidebox and then you go to each of the cards so there are 44 cards in this particular deck and later on we will show you what the cards look like uh, so the seasons of the witch series is uh, a series of oracle decks that uh, Juliet Diaz and I think Lauren Anderson are planning to create for all of the pagan sabbats and they uh, emphasize that for each Sabbath, they do, there are, there is a lot of potential for healing and different energies that can be, I guess, maximized during this particular time here. And here, let me show you the spreads. You have their three card spreads, and then you have these <laughs> interviewer deck spread, a graveyard spread, spiritual council, reclaiming my power, the rotten apple, a transformation spread, a weekly outlook spread, the witches to spread, moon phases, the shadow spread, the healer spread, uh, the coming of winter spread, and uh, the Ar Arhim spread. So yeah, so there's a lot of it and it's, I haven't tried most of these to be honest. I did get this deck a few months ago and I just looked through it, used it a few times, and then I got the Beltane Oracle and then started using that because this is a pretty seasonal deck. Um, but I don't mind. Actually, this is one of the few decks that I keep that even though it's a seasonal deck and I only would be bringing it out on certain times of the year. So this is what each entry of the in the guidebook looks like for each card. You have a picture of the card and you have uh, some keywords and more information as well as the reverse meaning. Okay, so let us zoom in and take a closer look at the cards. So before we go to the flip through, let's look at the back. Um, let's look at the cards. So <clears throat> these are the backs of the cards. They are not reversible. It is gilded in this bright red color. The card stock is a little bit glossy. Um, typical rock pool card stock, not too thick, not too thin easy to shuffle so I don't really have any problems with this particular card stock and then let's just start the flip through so the color the colors in this deck are a lot darker a lot more monochromatic as compared to the Beltane Oracle that they released they have already released the Yule Oracle the Beltane Oracle and this one the Samhain Oracle but they also have the Mabon Oracle upcoming and I can't wait to get that because I do want to complete this series of uh, Sabbaths because if I you know this is going to be like a seasonal practice for me as well and probably the only seasonal practice that I have in my in my tarot practice currently now what I love about this 
uh, is that you have the keywords, you have some more information, it is numbered, so if you want to look into the guidebook for more details, you can, and it would be easy for you to find the particular entry or the corresponding entry in the guidebook. And even though the colors are also slightly muted or limited, uh, the limited color palette, I really love how it's done. It, it takes me into the card, the art in the card. And there's, you know, there's a lot of difference in each card. There's a lot of variety. So even if it's mostly grays and neutrals, the shading, or I don't know um, the proper term for it, it just... It feels like each card is a surprise and each card is is stunning. I, mean, I love this card. It has a very different energy. It has a very different voice compared to the Beltane Oracle. And I, I, I really have to commend the creators for that because I think they they succeeded in um in what they're trying to accomplish or they are succeeding in what they're trying to accomplish uh this deck though uh this deck though actually has uh, little body diversity very little body diversity I, I think it's really because of the art style of the deck as well but i it was one of the common feedback that was being given for this particular deck when they first released it and I think they improved that already with the Yule Oracle as well as the Belvane Oracle. There are 44 cards in this deck, so it's a pretty good number for an Oracle deck. All right, then we'll zoom out and see how this deck shuffles. So as always, we'll try and shuffle this deck and we will get a card to read so that you can have a feel of how the guidebook is written. The guidebook here is very interesting and very good for reflection because there's also original poetry for each card. So it shuffles really well. Uh, I don't really have much of a an issue with this deck or shuffling this deck it is bigger than your usual tarot card but there are fewer cards so I don't mind and then you can also side shuffle and let's just see if a card wants to be red sorry I think you're hearing my bracelets in the background but I do love using crystals. I love incorporating them in my videos. I don't know if you know this, but I always have a crystal with me. And now I've started wearing my bracelets as well. Um, yeah, because I love crystals way before tarot. <laughs> but now it's like they're just made to work together. All right. So we will be reading for the third harvest. Alright, so in the guidebook, you actually have some keywords. It says here, gathering, abundance, and preparation. And here it says, Daughters of the woods, feel thy sacred swell with suppleness. Taste the gathering of honey's milk filling your emptiness. And then it says here, Samhain served as a practical holiday that told our ancestors to prepare for the coming of winter. The third harvest was a time to gather up the remainder of crops to prepare and store them to have enough food to last the harsh conditions. The last of the wheat would be ground to flour. The remains of fruits and vegetables would be pickled and canned and meat salted. Everything with a shelf life was stored in underground cellars and packed with ice. Though winters might be harsh and gathering up your food is hard work, there is a feeling of abundance and pride in getting prepared. Imagine looking at your food stores and seeing a physical representation of your work. Imagine seeing the abundant rewards of planting your seeds and nourishing them as they grow. We are lucky that we no longer have to face these conditions in the modern world. Refrigerators and grocery stores make it easy for us to have food all year long. Perhaps that is why the overall, 
overall idea of preparation is no longer as important to us. If you are holding the third harvest, you are being guided to gather up your accomplishments, to celebrate your wins, to take a look at everything you've done and achieved. Make a store of these wins to come back to whenever you are feeling low or like you've failed. The easiest way to attract more abundance is to feel abundant. Having this stockpile of feel-good moments will kickstart you and, and can help turn around feelings of lack or stagnation. Then the reverse meaning is when the third harvest is in reverse, you are being guided to be better prepared. Now is not the time to act impulsively. Your situation needs a plan of action or you may need to learn some new skills. Perhaps you need further advice or time to see if this is something that you truly want. Be sure you know your stuff before making a move. So it's very practical. It's very relatable, the messages in this particular deck. Um, overall, the Seasons of the Witch series is really one that I think it's one of the better made Oracle decks out there. Mind you, I am a beginner and I don't have a lot of Oracle decks compared to, to Tarot, but this, this series is definitely one of my favorites. And I can't wait to, to get the newest one once it's released and keep working with uh, this one, the Samhain Oracle, at this particular season and make it a part of my seasonal practice. Alright, so with that, that has been the Seasons of the Witch. Samhain Oracle. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and please do consider subscribing to my channel. I post tarot related content at least once a week and I will see you again next time. Bye!